Hey, hello! 27-year-old man named Francisco Terado was arrested for allegedly assaulting a woman and children. Now, this kind of sickening behavior isn't uncommon, unfortunately, but I think for this guy's case, it probably could have been avoided. I think the way that it could have been prevented is by putting this guy in jail for the other 64 crimes he's committed over the last 10 years. So his arrest for this crime was his 65th arrest in 10 years. And this guy is only 27. Now, I gotta ask, why isn't this guy in jail? His previous charges include aggravated assault with a weapon, robbery, and domestic battery causing bodily bodily harm. I think that after the first, oh, I don't know, 10 or so arrests, somebody should have questioned whether or not this guy might be a career criminal. I mean, how is this guy even still on the street? He must have the same lawyers that defended O.J. Simpson. Now, I'm not sure what's going on with the justice system in Chicago, but this guy should be thrown in prison for a long time. They should also probably throw the judge in prison and anyone else who had a hand in letting this guy walk after being charged so many times. I'm sure most of you have heard of Oktoberfest at some time in your life. Now, I personally didn't know all that much about it until I read a story recently about the 17-day festival. Now, the festival does have some music and historic funfair rides, but the main focus for most people is beer. The beer is served in one liter mugs, and from what I've read, the festival revolves around drinking lots and lots of beer. Kind of sounds like my final year in college. I also get the impression that the food and music are just distractions to the real draw, which is to get stinking drunk for 17 days straight. Now, the beer guzzlers managed to consume 7.5 million liters, or 1.65 imperial gallons for all my American friends, of beer over the entire festival. A total of 4,750 items items were turned into lost and found. This included items like passports, mobile phones, crutches, and a set of dentures. Now as a parent, I was pleased to see that all 48 children who became lost during the festival have all been claimed. I mean, nothing says good parenting like being too stinking drunk to keep track of your own kid. Now you would think that that much beer over that many days would lead to some fights and brawls, but the organizers this year were actually pleased that the amount of brawls was actually down from previous years. This year there were only 58 brawls. In what dimension, in space and time, would 58 brawls in one festival be considered successful. Apparently when brawling, the drunks use their heavy one liter beer mugs as weapons. I'd like to know if there's any other stats related to the festival. You know, like the amount of concussions, broken bones, and permanent brain damage. Leonard Nimoy, or Spock as he is known on Star Trek, has attended his last Star Trek convention. Now some people when they heard the news looked like they had been hit by a phaser that was set on stun, but I personally can't blame him. The guy's 80 years old. Now this particular convention will mark the 45th anniversary of the show. This guy's lived a pretty incredible life, both on Earth and in space. I think if I live to be 80 before I'm beamed up for the final time, I'll be pretty happy about it. I think it's safe to say that he's lived long and prospered. One way to know that you've left your mark on planet Earth is when you've been immortalized in an action figure. Having an action figure of myself is on my bucket list. Unfortunately, due to lack of demand, I'll probably have to make it myself by whittling it out of wood. Apparently, demand for Rob Tart action figures is down, but we'll have to see what the Christmas season brings. I don't have a question of the day this time. I want to try something a little different. I remember when I was a kid, one of the things we used to do is we would build a story by everybody contributing to it. So what would happen is the first person would say three or four or five words, and then the next person would continue the story by saying three to five words, and so on and so on, and the story would build up from there. I want to try to do something like that in the comments section today. So what's going to happen is, somebody will start the story off, and then the next person will add to the story using three or five words, and then the next person will add to the story using between three and five words, and so on. Now here are the rules. If you're going to add to the story, you have to prefix your comment with three periods. That way when people are looking at the comment section, they'll be able to tell the difference between a regular comment or a comment that's meant to be part of the story. The second rule is, you're not allowed to comment twice in a row if you're commenting on the story. You have to wait for at least one person to comment before you can comment again. That'll prevent people from commenting 38 times in a row and basically writing their own story. The third thing is try to have the story revolve around the topics I used in the vlog. That way the story won't go off in some ridiculous direction that involves sex with farm animals or something like that. Anyway, I'm really interested to see where this goes. If you want to be the person to start off the story, just start with three dots and say whatever you like. Try to end your statements with things like, well, walking down the street, I, or I saw him and then, or blah, 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 when, or something like that. Something that makes it easy for the next person to sort of continue the story. And let's try to keep it clean please. I'm looking forward to seeing the creativity on this one. Anyway that's all I have. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to fave, subscribe, like, and do all the other stuff that makes me happy. I'll see you next time. I how no I'm not sure what's going on with the justice No I'm not sure what No I'm and from and from what I've I also get I also get the impression that the few I also get I'd like to know if there's other by whittling